Hello RC pilots. In this video I'll present probably the first fully functional collimating reflector gun sight for RC planes. Uh, this particular uh, gun sight is a Mark 8, US Mark 8 gun sight in 1 by 7.5 scale. Um, its dimensions are the following. It is fifth about 50 millimeters by 25 millimeters by 14 millimeters. This gun sight fits perfectly for foam warbirds with uh, in the range of 1400 to 1700 millimeter wingspan and um, well you can use it for the Corsair, for the P47 for the Spitfire, for the Hurricane. Um, actually, the British Mark II gun sight, which is used in the, which was used in the Hurricane and the Spitfire, um, is quite similar to the American Mark VIII. So you can use it for both British and American planes. As you can see, this vertical tube here uh, has been stretched. Well, in, if it was scale, it would be a little bit shorter. And to match the focal length of the collimator lens. But apart from this modification, this sight is very scale. Um, well, you can see the rough surface of uh, the sight's body, which has been replicated, which exists in the full scale as well. You have the screw heads here, and you have um, the, um, the glare shield which is movable as you can see now which is perfectly clear acrylic glass and um, well it could be lowered and raised by a micro servo if you want if you don't want it you can just detach it slides off and reattach it well well now I detach it Which materials are used? Uh, the site is composed of several epoxy resin parts which are cast in silicon molds so you have a very good surface quality which could not be achieved with uh, 3D printing. The reflector plate up here is uh, optical beam splitter glass as used on full scale uh, head up displays. 80% transparency no, sorry, yes, 80% transparency, 20% uh, reflection, so it's very clear. And it has an anti-reflection coating on the back side, on this side, uh, which eliminates, eliminates the, the annoying ghost images which you normally have when you use a, a conventional glass. The collimator lens, which you see up here, is uh, an aspheric lens, so there is very little, virtually no distortion compared to a spheric lens, and the reticle, which is projected uh, onto the reflector plate, is located down here in the lower part. It's a very powerful SMD LED with a color, re color, color rendering index of 95, a warm white LED, so it replicates uh, the light spectrum of a traditional light bulb which was used in the full-scale one. <clears throat> the cables show that um, it actually works. Well it has a 5 volt power supply um, and um, well as I said the reticle mm, down here is uh, the American Mark 8 reticle. I could also produce a version with a British reticle if there is enough demand. This site is designed for distance of 50 to 90 millimeters distance between the reflector plate and the onboard camera. So at this distance, 50 to 90, it fills up the reflector plate. The image fills up the reflector plate. If you move it a little bit closer, the image appears smaller. If you uh, with more distance it appears more uh, larger. Um, okay, so 
that's it. Let's now see how it looks in action.